Hello, makers, and welcome back to Making with Miss Dobras. All right, last week we did all kinds of paper spinners, and this is another type of paper spinner, but instead of using it as a design challenge where we're going to launch it off of a height to see if it spins, I thought it might be fun to do a spinner inspired decoration. So I'm going to show you how to make these and you can hang them from a string in your room or anywhere for decorations. You can make them out of any color paper or I'm going to show you another video where you can make a really cool 3D star decoration if you make six of these. So whether you make one or you make six and you go big and try to make the decoration, either one is fine. They both look cool and they're very much a spinner inspired decoration. So let's get to it. All right, you need paper and scissors and a pen or a pencil, and that's about it. Oh, I almost forgot, you need a glue stick. All right, we need square paper to start with. I've taught you this many, many times this year, so I'm hoping that you know how to make square paper out of rectangular paper. So we have a square piece of paper, and you point the tips towards your tummy, and you fold it in half, mine's already folded in half, and then you fold it in half again by putting these two tips together. So one tip all the way over to the other side. And we have a nice triangular shape. Now you're going to want to notice that one side is closed right here. And then the long side is kind of open, right? You could open these up. And then this side right here has two. So we're going to be drawing some lines along the long side. Now you can use a ruler or you can just draw with your hand. Well, um, I would say using, I would suggest, I would suggest using a pencil so that you can erase the marks later, but I'm going to use a Sharpie right now so that you can see on a video. So what's going to happen is we're going to leave a little space right here at the end about the width of a rectangle. And I did it in a really light pencil mark because I'm going to erase that later. And then I'm going to do lines along parallel to this long side right here and it's going to look something like this it doesn't have to be the width of a ruler but i want you to notice i drew this line but i stopped right there at that line so i stopped right here and then i'm going to draw another one all you want is them to be about the same width okay and of course you want them to be parallel and parallel means they're all in the same line Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So if you notice, the lines are running parallel with this long line. I have a couple lines, they're all about the same width apart, and I'm leaving some space on this end. Okay, I don't know if you can see my pencil mark there. And this width is about the same as this. So now I'm gonna cut them out. And I have to tell you, it's pretty easy to mess this up. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty easy. If you start drawing the lines on the wrong edge, I did a lot of mess up rounds and that's okay. Here, here's one of them. I cut this one out and it did not come out how I wanted it. So don't worry if you mess up, okay? So if you did it correctly, when you open it up and you have to open it up carefully once you have cutouts because you don't want to rip it, it should look something like this, okay? So it has kind of all these diamond shapes. And then here's the fun part. So you can do this with a glue stick, or you can do it with a little piece of tape. Um, if you do it with a glue stick, you're going to have to hold it each time. And you put a little bit of glue on one side. And then you take the two in the middle. The middle one's the hardest. And you glue them together. Now I'm holding this, so you can't really see it. But I'm holding it together, and I want to hold it for five, maybe ten seconds if it's a glue stick. Or you can use a stapler or some clear tape or any kind of tape. And then, I don't know if you can see, but you can look through that. And now, this is the key thing. I'm going to flip it over. Each time, you got to flip it over. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this side. I'm going to glue these together. Okay? So hopefully, you're starting to get that this is a pattern. Okay? You don't need a lot of glue. Um... Hold that together, as you can see, it has space in it for your fingers. 
as you start to do the bigger ones, it's much easier because there's more space for your finger. The first one is the hardest one. Okay? So then I'm pressing down for about 10 seconds. And then, now here's the key part. You got to rotate it again. So every time you alternate. Okay? Um, you put a little glue on. And it gets easier as you come out. And then you, if you want to, you can line up these that tip right with the other tip. Now you're starting to see a little pattern going, right? Looks cool. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do my last one. So once you get the cuts down, this is actually pretty easy. Okay, if you can see there's two, on, two loops on this side and on the other side there's two loops on that side. And you can experiment, you can even make more. All right, so that's it. This is a paper spinner. You can experiment by cutting more lines and getting more loops, or you can just keep it like this. You can hang this. This looks really cool as a decoration. You can make them in different colors. And then my next video shows how you can put them together right here, and you staple them together. And you can make this really cool kind of a star flower design if you make six of these. So whether you make one or two or six, it's all good. They're going to look really cool, and they are inspired by spinners. All right, that's all for now, you guys. Stay safe out there and keep on making.